Hey, welcome to math, my friends. We're doing multiplication of big numbers still. What do you notice that's different about this problem we have? You probably notice it's even bigger. This is a three digit number, 326 times 56. But guess what? We do it just the same as we did before. So let's figure it out. So the first thing we're gonna do, just like last time, is we're gonna get an estimate so we know about what we're supposed to be looking at for an answer. So I'm just gonna do a rough estimate, which when I do the rough estimates, I just look at the first digit and I say, is 327 closer to 300 or 400? Well, it's closer to 300. And is 56 closer to 50 or 60? Well, let's see, I look next door to six. Five through nine, climb the vine, it's closer to 60. So what is 300 times 60? And that'll give us the estimate. Well, what's, remember what we do here? We cover up the zeros and we say, well, what's three times six? 18. And then I, but I'm not just talking about three times six, I'm talking about 300 times 60. So all these zeros are gonna have to go over here. Because I, I'm not just talking about 18 ones, I'm talking about all of these zeros. This is not just three, it's 300. So I have to have two zeros over here. And this is not just six, it's 60. So I've got to have another zero over there. So one, two, three zeros, one, two, three. And then I put the comma in the right spot. Let's see, one, two, three, then there goes the comma. 18,000. So my answer is going to be about 18,000. Let's see what it is. So first we're going to do the old school method, also known as the standard algorithm. So I put the big, the number with more digits go on top. So 327, that's three digits, that goes on top. 56 has two digits, goes on the bottom. And please line them up correctly. So tens in the ten spot, ones in the one spot. And what I do now? Well, if I want to get the answer right, I give myself some lines. Give myself a spot for the ones, spot for the tens, spot for the hundreds, spot for the thousands, and I think it's going to go up to the ten thousand. I'm going to do a spot for the ten thousands. And then you just solve the problem. First, you multiply six times each one of these digits, because we've got to say six times the one, six times the ten, six times the hundreds. And then I'm gonna go and do the same thing to the tens. Multiply the tens times the ones, tens times the tens, and tens times the hundreds, and then add them together. Just like we did before, only there's gonna be a little bit more multiplication involved because there's that three right there. Okay, what's six times seven? This is where hopefully you've been doing your flashcards and getting faster at these, but if you're not, there's no shame in using this multiplication table. Six times seven is 42. So have that nearby. 42, do I squeeze 42 in like that? No, you don't, Daniel. We, you, you know that we know you don't do that. The two goes here and the four goes here. Then we move on, six times two. How many tens do we have? Well, six times two is 12. Plus the four is 16. Do I squeeze 16 in? No, I do the six and the one. And now, see how it's just the same thing? We're just going one more digit over. So now what's six times three? Six times three is, we have to find out how many hundreds we have. Six times three is 18, plus the one, 19. Do I squeeze it in? No. Just like that. And now there are two things you need to do before you can move on. Who knows what those two things are? One of them is I erase or cross out all of the numbers that are up here. I like to say this sometimes they're in, it's in the attic, like money that I hide in the attic. You erase all of those. You don't need those anymore, and they're going to mess you up if you see them. So either cross them out or erase them. The next, so that's one. But I said two, right? The next thing we do, are we talking about one still? No, we already solved for all the ones. We don't, there are going to be no more ones. We're going to, we're already talking about tens now, so there's no ones. So we put a zero right here. Some people put an X, which is okay also. But we're not talking about the ones anymore. We're moving on to the tens. So don't have, you want to put a zero or an X right there. Because we're moving on to the tens. Okay. 
So now we're going to multiply it, the ones, tens, and hundreds of this number by the tens, which is five. So what's five times seven? Thirty-five. Do I squeeze thirty-five in there? No, I don't. Five goes there. Three goes on the next digit you're going to multiply by. Now we're going to multiply the tens. Five tens times two tens. How many tens do we have? Well, what's five times two? Ten. Don't forget about the three up there in the attic. What's ten plus three? Thirteen. Do I squeeze thirteen in like that? No, you don't, Daniel. You put the three there. You put the one on the next number you're going to multiply by. Okay, almost there, guys. Five times three. Last one. Five times three is 15. Don't forget about the one. You have to add it. 16. Do I squeeze in 16? No, you don't. Six, and then the one just goes right down. And now for the fun part, we can add them up. So just so to be clear, this number here was six times 327. And this number right here was 50 times 327. And then we're going to add them together. Okay, so let's add them up. 2 plus 0, first the 1s. 2, 6 plus 5 for the tens, 11. I can't squeeze 2 in there. It's got to go up here. So 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 3 is 13. Do you squeeze it in like that? No, you don't. You know that. Three goes there, one goes up here. And now one plus one is two, plus six is eight. Or you could go six plus one is seven, plus one is eight, either way. And then the one comes down. And look at that. And then the, the comma goes one, two, three, and then a comma. 18,312. Super close, super close. I'm going to show you guys how to do this kind of problem with the area model, just so you know. The, I love the area model. When the numbers get to be three digits, it gets harder because there's just more numbers to add. But I'm going to show you how to do it anyway, just so you know. And if you if it's too much information, you can stop now and just do it, right? Do the problems. But this is how you do it, just so you can see how to do the area model. I'm going to make a rectangle, just like always. And notice how the top number, the first number, is actually three digits. That means I have to separate it three times, so it's more than normal. And this one is two digits, so you just cut it in half. And then 327, see how it's a little bit more than normal than last time, times 56. And then we multiply them and add them up. So let's just do it really quick. 50 times 300. Well, what's 5 times 3? 15. But we're not just talking about 5 times 3. We're talking about 50 times 300. So we need to add the 1, 2, 3 zeros after the 15. What's 50 times 20? Well, what's 5 times 2? 10. And now how many zeros did I uncover? Well, we're not talking about 5 times 2. We're talking about 50 times 20. One, two more zeros. And now 50 times 7. Well, it's 5 times 7. 35 plus a zero. 6 times 300. Well, what's 6 times 3? 18 plus two zeros. See how I'm doing this, guys? Same as last time, only there's a, there's a skinnier rectangle. 6 times 20, well, what's 6 times 2? 12 plus a 0. And 6 times 7 is 42. So I got all the numbers, I just add them up. So this is where it can get a little tricky if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers to add up. Remember, usually we just had 4, it's 6. So you might like the other method better because of that. But let's just add them up. Make sure you get them all in line. I start with the biggest number first, 15,000 plus 1,800 plus 1,000 plus 350. I'm just going biggest to smallest, plus 120 plus 42. 
and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. So it's the same, I have all of them written down. And I just go down and add up the ones, two. Add up the tens, five plus two is seven, plus four is 11. Add up the hundreds, one plus eight is nine, plus three is 12, plus one is 13. Add up the thousands, one plus five is six, plus one's seven, plus one's eight, and bring down the one, 18,312. Pretty close, and I didn't leave the last number, but I think that's what we got last time, right? So anyway, if you want, just so you know, that's how you do the area model. But that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be multiplying bigger numbers. And we're going to be looking at pages 86 and 87, and I'll write the assignment down. You can do it, guys.